Okay. I have had every imaginable interruption today known to man, I think. Natural disaster is probably the only thing that hasn't happened so far. And I think we have a blizzard coming, so... So, this is my third attempt to, to record this video today, and I'm going to try real quick to get it in. Um, you're looking at my Soval SV-01, and I have removed the humongous equipment tray out of the bottom of it so that I can get to the underneath of the build plate to make adjustments to adjust the concentric rollers as needed um, because uh, last week when I was using this printer, Actually, it was last Saturday. It failed every print that I tried to print on it. And I figured out why when I tried to remove the last print from the bed. Um, it felt like the whole build plate was about ready to fall off of the printer. And it was actually pretty close because the bolts had come loose. And uh, I was starting to get artifact in my prints and I didn't understand why. So, And I tried to get a long 10 millimeter wrench in there to adjust those uh, concentric bolts and I couldn't even get a wrench in there. So I was like, okay, I'm done with this thing being so compact and wonderful and lovely, you know, for all of you that love compact printers. And I get it for print farms where you have, you know, a hundred or 300 printers in a room, you need them to occupy a very small space. Um, but in the same respect, the trade-off is being able to perform maintenance on those printers. So anyhow, and I'm sure in a print farm, you just take the printer offline and take it into a room somewhere and you tear it all apart and you fix it and then put it back online when it's done. So, but for a home printer, like operation like I run, I need to be able to work on them, uh, you know, without dismantling the whole printer. So, so I decided to move the electronics uh, to an external. And okay, so I started by printing uh, this bracket that holds the power supply onto a wall or desk or anything. I chose to mount mine onto the wall. And sorry for the paper towels and pencil sharpener, but it's a multi-purpose room here. Um, okay, this box here is going to hold the receptacle and the power switch for the printer. And uh, this is printed in that red Acreate or Acreate filament. Um, I got this filament off of eBay, about $10 a kilogram. I was pretty amazed at that. Of course, I bought quite a few rolls of it at one time to get a little bit of a discount. So, um, so this box here holds the, um, the main board for the printer. Okay, you saw that switch there. Um, this piece cover holds the fan. And then this is the user interface uh, cover, which is right here. So I thought about ordering a touchscreen interface for it, and uh, I don't know, I get by with that, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, battery's going down fast, it's at 5%, and I know it's going to die, so I'm going to put the board in here and hook some of this up, and then I'll come back and show you um, what it looks like. Okay, signing off, I'll see you soon.